Hey, what's up guys? It's Mark here with Driver67. So today I'm going to talk about iPhone text messages. Why is it not showing up on your master infotainment system and how to fix that? Uh, it's pretty easy actually. So it works with master infotainment with this kind of a screen layout here. It doesn't work on a much newer one like the 2021 on some countries. Uh, it's going to be a different infotainment system. This infotainment system, uh, I think it started around 2014, maybe 2015, uh, up to 2020 in most regions. So now the problem is going to communications and with your iPhone connected, uh, what you'll notice is text messages right here. It's uh, grayed out, so it's not showing that you can select it. To fix this issue, it's pretty easy. So go to your iPhone menu, and what you want to go to is your Bluetooth menu, and where your car is connected. So go into it. Uh, by default, when you connect your phone into it, show notifications is turned off. What you want to do is enable uh, show notifications. So once you select notifications on, turn off your car. Wait about two minutes, and then turn on your car again. You don't have to start your engine, just basically turn on the screen. So after approximately two minutes, restart your car. You no, know, you don't have to start up your engine. And if you go to communications, you gotta wait a little bit and then look at that. Text messages now shows up here. So here you can check on your messages. When you fully stop, it displays the full text here. Uh, but when you're driving, it shows that it displays, it cannot read text messages, but you can use your, um, your little knob here to control and push play, and it would read out the text messages. Hi, end of the message. And if you receive a text message, it will show up on screen here, even when you're driving, and you can uh, make your car read it for you. Hi, end of the message. So hopefully this video is very helpful for you guys here. Uh, now if it doesn't work still and your text message show is grayed out, what you have to do is delete your phone from your car and also delete uh, the car from your iPhone. And once this is all done, uh, what you want to do is reconnect them together and make sure notification is turned on on your phone again and uh, it should work once you restart the car after two minutes. So guys, hopefully this video has been really helpful. Thank you very much for watching and this is Driver67, Mark, signing out. What did the fox say? Oh yeah, ha 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 ha. End of the message.